to further discuss equilibrium, we really need to make sure we all have a, a basic understanding of thermodynamics uh, because equilibrium and thermodynamics are uh, inextricably related to each other. So this is a brief review of some of the principles you learned about in freshman chemistry uh, and some of the important variables that show up in thermodynamics. Uh, so one of, the important, one of the most important variables that we see is called the enthalpy. We write this as delta H, delta meaning it's a change. Uh, enthalpies are always changes uh, that we measure. And the, in the short version of enthalpy is that it is a measure of heat absorbed or released in a chemical reaction. Well, it can be in any sort of process, but we're going to talk about chemical reactions specifically in this class. So a measure of heat absorbed or released in a process, we'll keep it generic, but all the processes we'll consider in this class are reactions. Uh, and one key point here is that this is only a measure of heat at constant pressure. If the process takes place not at constant pressure, it doesn't measure that. But almost all the reactions that we do on Earth happen under atmospheric pressure, and that pressure we can treat as being constant. So enthalpy and heat are basically uh, the same thing uh, for all the reactions we're going to consider. Uh, so there are two different possibilities for a process. We can have positive delta H, and that's what we call an endothermic process. And we define a positive change in enthalpy, meaning that heat is absorbed into the system. So it will cool down its surroundings. A negative delta H we call an exothermic process. Uh, most chemical reactions, but not all, fall under this category. Most chemical reactions are exothermic, and they release heat into their environment. Uh, if you think about an explosion, that's a pretty obvious example of an exothermic reaction because it heats everything up around it very quickly. Um, but many other reactions also involve releasing heat into the environment. Okay, so that's one of the main variables that we consider, enthalpy, measure, measurement of heat absorbed or released in a chemical reaction or in any process. One of the other important variables that shows up in thermodynamics is entropy, which we write as delta S, delta again being a change. And this is defined as Q reversible over T. And as a process happens, what is the reversible heat, in here reversible, means that the process can be reversed. Basically, it's done in a very, very small increments, and you can undo any of them as you do it. Uh, so the process can be reversed. Most processes we consider are not reversible, but the entropy is defined in terms of this reversible condition. Uh, so reverse by a small change in the surroundings or in the conditions. Roughly speaking, entropy is a measure of disorder in the system. I'm going to put that in quotes because that's a pretty simplistic way of thinking of entropy. Um, but for our purposes in this class in analytical chemistry, we're not going to think too much about entropy. And so this is good enough for what we're, we're talking about. Uh, and so if we're thinking of a reaction, delta S um, measures the change of entropy from the reactants to the products. In the next video, we'll look at the uh, variable that combines these two, the Gibbs free energy, that tells us a lot about whether reactions can or cannot happen uh, under given conditions.